Okay, <clears throat> we're going to do the next video, but I'm going to add some of S2 because it didn't, it got cut off in the last video. So this is line 18A, 3, S3, care black white holes, GRB 060614, portals, time, travel, while SETI, and it's part 124. And we're going to go into line 18A, S, A3, S2. No hair theorem, black hole, four dimension event, horizons, redshift, well steady. And I need to film the last bit of it because we missed out on it. I believe this is where it stopped. Around here. There, I cut out here. Okay. So, high energy physics theory came up. Entanglement, interpretation of black hole entropy and string theory. Ram Brustein, Martin B. Einhorn, Amos Yarom. We show that the entropy resulting from the counting of microstates of non-extremal -extre black holes using field theory duals of string theories can be interpreted as arising from entanglement. The conditions for making such an interpretation consistent are discussed. First, we interpret the entropy and thermodynamics of space-times with non-degenerate bifurcating Killing horizons as arising from entanglement. We use a path integral method to define the Hartle Hawking vacuum state in such space times and discuss explicitly its entangled nature and its relation to the geometry. If string theory on such space times has a field theory dual, then in the low energy weak coupling limit, the field theory state that is dual to the Hart Hartle Hawking state is a thermal field double state. This allows the comparison of the entanglement entropy with the entropy of the field theory dual and thus with the Bekenstein Hawking entropy of the black hole. As an example, we discuss in detail the case of the five dimensional anti de Sitter black hole spacetime. <clears throat> Okay, so that came up, and then I looked up the black hole, and I found this thing here. It says, black hole in falling matter, sharp event, horizon, point of no return. Okay, here we go. Sorry, black hole. In falling matter is this area here. Which is that? Sharp event, horizon, point of no return is over here. Point light singularity is this little thing here. There. Then we have Hawking radiation consistence of random energy. That's just these little things coming out here. Then the potential wormholes to other universes. Down that way. This is fuzzball and falling matter. Again. No sharp event. It's just, it looks like a, a repeat of the last one, only it's a little more detailed there. Okay. So another word came out, wick rotation. That's going to be explained in another video. And then this um, calculation came up. If you know how to compute a function fx, f e x o x in Euclidean space time and know that it is analytic in x o, you can analytically continue to get the corresponding thing in Minkowski space time. If you know f e only numerically, you can fit a rational function to it in it in t to the data and analytically continue the latter. This usually gives reasonable results. So Oswalder Schreider is exactly the right thing to look for. Type these two names into scholar.google.com to get plenty of additional information. And I found that on www.physicsforums.com. February 13, 2012, my thoughts. We're getting a lot of data about black holes, speed, velocity, and measurements of the universe showing up in the data. I don't quite understand any of it at this point. I hope I will as we go along. Key word that shows up a lot in the last three sections of data is in Minkowski space time. Okay, so now we're going to go on to line 18A3S and add. Uh, again, there's the uh, Google number that we use. And this came up with Mr. Stay Puffed, Tipler and Care. Another type of black hole called a care hole is also theoretically possible. Care holes are rotating black holes that could be used as portals for time travel or travel to parallel universes. 
Again, if you remember, the alien message says that they do use two black holes in, in order to travel from one universe to another. So this guy's theory is actually true, according to them. In 1963, New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr proposed the first realistic theory for a rotating black hole. In his theory, sorry, dying stars would collapse into a rotating ring of neutrons that would produce sufficient centrifugal force. Sorry, I just ate Chinese food. <laughs> I should know better. I do, always do this. I eat and then I come in here and film and then I burp, burp, burp. Okay, sufficient centrifugal force to prevent the formation of a singularity. Since the black hole would not have a singularity, Kerr believed it would be safe to enter it without being crushed by the infinite gravitational force at its center. If Kerr holes do exist, it might be possible to pass through them and exit out of a white hole. A white hole would have the reverse action of a black hole. So, instead of pulling everything into its gravitational force, it would use some sort of exotic matter with negative energy to push everything out and away from it. These white holes would be our way to enter other times or other worlds. Given the little we know about black holes, care holes may possibly exist. However, physicist Kip Thorne of the California Institute of Technology believes that the laws of physics prevent such a formation. He says there is no such way to enter and exit a black hole and that anything attempting to enter a black hole will be sucked in and destroyed before it even reaches the singularity. So again, um, every time somebody comes up with a theory, someone comes up with, uh, no, that can't work, it's impossible, blah, blah, blah. And again, what I'm saying is that you should have a more open mind that even um, you're basing your, your subjects and your, your presumptions on the current mathematical equations that we currently have discovered so far. But again, you must always remember that you can always learn something new, right? And things that we don't always realize could be different because we haven't found a difference. And then when we find a difference, we sit there and question it because it's like, okay, it's not the same thing as everything else. It's not the norm, but it's outside the box. So again, you must always believe that there is a possibility of something happening. But you just have to figure out how to do it. Okay, so GRB 060614 came up. That's what it looks like. And I got that from www.cosmon. Cosmo, cosmonline.co.uk. An image above is a GRB 060614. It's a strange gamma ray burst. It was detected by NASA's SWIFT satellite on June 14, 2006. It originated in a galaxy 1.6 billion light years away and didn't fit in with any of the existing models for gamma ray burst creation. So basically, it wasn't fitting into what we thought it could do. So again, we question it, right? Since its detection, more than a dozen telescopes, including Hubble, have studied the peculiar burst. Is it evidence for the existence of a black hole's mirror image, a white hole? See, they think that's a black hole, that's a white hole. Quote, now, five years later, a theory has emerged... Here we go with another theory. It could be a white hole. Oh, now they're saying it could be a white hole. A white hole is a theoretical beastie that exists as a set of equations that were a byproduct of Einstein's theory of relativity. It is basically a black hole in reverse. If a black hole is an object from which nothing can escape, then a white hole is an object from into which nothing can enter. It can only radiate energy and matter. Okay, and this is a nice big diagram here, which we can't read because it's too small. Oh, let's make it bigger. There we go. Let's take a look at Sorry, I didn't make this bigger. Sooner. Small bangs, time travel, and mirror universes meet the white hole. So you're showing the black hole, ring singularity, tunnel in space, time, black hole in the future. Einstein, Rosenbridge, there's the wormhole, and there's the white hole. 
So they're kind of trying to figure out whether or not a wormhole exists between black holes and white holes. And this is the theory here. How white holes might be formed, click to bend space, time, and magnify. So I found that on the cosmoonline.co.uk. Really great website to go to. So that's the end of that one. It's nice and short and sweet. And we'll go on to the next one.